Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Keemdra Professional, which would help you draw chemical structures in 2D or 3D format. I'm not going into the detail of these toolbars and this menu bar as these are pretty much self-explanatory. So let's dive into the video to see how we can use the software to draw chemical structures. In order to draw simple hydrocarbons, you can either use this bond structure, solid bond, for example, if, if I'm going to click on this, and then click on this canvas then it would automatically draw these structures you can just follow this little green dot and it would help you build your structure like this but there's a shortcut you can just click once from your keyboard keep on pressing one and it would automatically draw your structure like this there is one more method that you can use as well and this is chain tool click over it and just draw the structure like this it would easily draw your structure now these are actually the bond line formulas and if you want to write them in open chain form then you can also do that for this you need to go to view and here you can see we have show periodic table window click over it and as we know all these ends and kinks are nothing but carbons so we can click on carbon in the periodic table window and now click on each and every carbon and it would turn into this open giant structure like this. You can also use this periodic table window to insert other items like chlorine. For example, I wanna insert chlorine over here and I can insert that. And if you want a double bond in this structure, then you can go over here, right click, and it would insert a double bond in the chain. And similarly, we have the option for triple bond as well. And if you want to remove part of a molecule, you can use this eraser tool, just grab it, and draw over here and it would remove it would delete the structure if you want to write a chemical equation then you can easily do that and you can also just copy it right from here and paste it in your microsoft word document or google docs let me show you how this can be done for example i'm gonna write this friedel craft reaction i will click on benzene ring over here click and in order to add plus sign click on this text tool click over here let me add this plus sign next you can write here i want to insert carbon oxygen bond which can also be inserted like this draw a structure and here you can just insert oxygen right from here as you can see and in order to make this bond double you can click over here and click and you can see it turned into a carbonyl group then again click over here and here you can insert chlorine so click on chlorine in the periodic table window and insert over here and here we go next you have uh, arrows right over here and you can grab these arrows i'm gonna pick this one you can see and um, you can also insert reaction condition over here for example suppose this reaction is being given heat so you can go to view and here you can see we have a character map window and from crept character map window you can grab this delta sign and that's it let me complete this reaction over here in order to copy this formula you can grab this lasso tool pick all pick everything over here right click copy then you can paste it right in a microsoft word document like this and here we go you can also turn these things into 3d structure just grab this benzene ring right click copy then you can go to scheme 3d paste it over here and here we go you can zoom it and zoom out you can just you can also rotate it like this you can see click over it and it would start rotating you can also rotate it like this you can see and if you want to turn it into sticks you can do that right from this toolbar as well you can also change it into a space filling model but i always prefer to use ball and stick model like this you can click on this atom atom symbol and it would clearly indicate where is carbon where is hydrogen and where are other elements you can also use the serial numbering as well you can see now everything is numbered let me remove these you can use this to view axis as well and right from here you can save it in many a format you can see jpeg and there are many other file formats that you can use to save this structure 
if you have a formula then this if you have a formula but you don't know its name you can write its name as well just write a structure over here go to object go to structure and here you can see we have convert structure to name click over it and there you go we have this benzene over here and similarly if you have a name let me write something over here so I have drawn this random structure I don't know its formula I don't know its name I would select it go to structure and I would convert structure to name and here we go and if you have a name like this then you can turn it into a structure as well select it again go to structure and convert name to structure click over it and there you go as we know there are many complex structures of different chemicals then the, a simple database is also given over here you can go over here choose these amino acid advanced you can also use these clip arts to draw a structure and some biostructures are also given over here we can see some animals similarly cyclovolcans dna templates clip arts bio art and many other things have been given over here you can also use them in your documents these complex structures you can see buckyballs etc can be drawn right there you can also use some very good shortcut that would help you draw your structure in lesser time and that is for example i'm going to click on this solid bond click over here and now if i click on one it would keep on expanding the chain but if you but if i click two from my keyboard it would automatically form a carbonyl group if i click on three it would add benzene ring and as i draw my cursor right over here again i'm going to click one it would add another solid bond and if i click on four it would add this propyl group and right over here if i click five it would add this hash formula for, for six you can see it would add hexane for seven it's going to add this cyclopentane let me again insert this solid bond and this time i'm going to click on seven again solid bond and i'm going to click on eight you can see eight is going to add a double bond and let me click over here to add one more solid bond and if i click on nine it would add a propyl group like this and if i click on zero it would expand right at the same place and if you find a structure too confusing to be drawn then you can you can either use their nchl formula or smileys let me show you one example you can just go to this pub keem website and uh, i'm gonna write the structure of ethyl acetate let's suppose but keep in your mind this structure should be a really complex structure if you want to use this although you can use it for simple structure as well and for ethyl acetate here you can see we have uh, its inchl inchl formula right over here and uh, we also have smileys over here let me copy this right from here i would copy it and again i would go to keem draw let me right click and i'm gonna click on paste special so i would click on smileys and here you can see our structure is drawn in no time we can also use this inchl formula as well let me copy this formula right from here copy and let me paste it as a special inchl formula and there you go in this way you can just look up any structure on internet find its smileys or inchl short code and paste it over here and your formula would be automatically drawn i hope this short tutorial would help you draw your structures we can also analyze this particular formula using hnmr spectrum just select it go to structure and here is predict hnmr shift click over it and there you see this is the hnmr estimation for this particular structure and you can compare it with the actual structure or the structure that is present in a chemical database you would find it quite accurate let me show you carbon 13 nmr for the same structure select the structure again go to structure and click on c13 nmr shift and here is a c13 nmr shift for this particular structure so these analytical tools would also help you accurately guide the structure of your compound one more tool 
is chemical analysis window just select the compound then go to view tab and here you can see we have show chemical properties window click over it and there you go if you click on paste everything regarding this compound has been given boiling point melting point critical temperature everything is right on your canvas you can also use this fragmentation tool to find out how this molecule would fragment let me click on it and draw it like this and there you see the molecule has split into two free radicals with their formula as well as exact mass is given one more thing regarding chemical analysis is just uh, select this molecule right click and here you can see we have this analysis tab you can check its name chemical formula exact mass m by z value uh, but i'm gonna click on this all it would give us everything and there you see it has given us chemical formula exact molar mass elemental analysis and everything i hope you have found this tutorial useful be sure to subscribe thanks for watching